Believe it or not, I don't really have a plan when I make these videos. I'm just goofing around. But when I see all these squares, I think to myself, I bet I could make some sort of chessboard. That'd be cool. And the first step in doing that would have would be to make the squares different colors. And that's just a matter of styling, so let's do that real quick. We go to I'm just gonna take the class I have now. And this one's yellow, so I'll make this one orange. Or nage. Make it orange. And I'll change the name. And I'll change this name to square yellow. And save it. Um our app loses its mind because it doesn't have the uh, square class anymore. So just to make sure we haven't screwed anything up too much, I'll change that to square yellow. It should go back to where it was. Okay, good. So if we have yellow squares, we need orange squares. So let's make all the even squares yellow. In other words, if I mod 2 equals 0. If we divide i by 2 and the remainder is 0, then we know it's even. Otherwise, else, I mean there are only other choices. Odd, right? So, orange. Ornage again. i got to figure that out. Orange. Uh, so if I save this we should have alternating colors. And we do, which is fun. So next step would be to actually make a board. Um, so here we have a, you know, we took the array and array of squares and we rendered that, we returned that. But what we really want to return is some sort of element called board. Right? But we don't have one, of course, so we're going to make one. Class board extends components. And this class has to have a render. And the render has to have a return. Um, it doesn't seem to like that one bit. Oh, an expression is expected. Yep, yeah, I bet. So, um, app is going to say, give me a board. It's going to look in here and say, what do you have for me? So let's just make it another boring div and with a class name of board. I'm not very creative. Um, we don't have class of board, so let's make one. Board. In fact, let me just. Well, no, I'll just type it out. Uh, with 400 pixels, I reckon. Height. Because it's a square. make it blue um, and we want it centered so we're going to do the old margin zero auto to center the div we have to save this um, and nothing changed and nothing changed because we have to save this too so if we save this we should see a big blue square on our screen Uh, oh, well, we can't have components. Let's have component. Now we should have a big blue square. We have the bluest square. Good. Here's our board. Now, how do we get the squares on the board? Well, rather than 
rather than um, rendering the squares here, let's let the board do that. Let's do all this work within our, our board component. So I'm going to cut this out. And I want to put it in here. And then um, within our board, we will, we should be able just to throw this uh, array of squares in. I'm guessing. Let's find out. <laughs> I have to laugh because I wasn't sure if it's going to work or not. But it does. Great. Okay, so it doesn't line up so well. But um, um, well, I guess the chessboard has 64 squares for starters, right? So let's let's fix that. We can just change that to 64 and save. Now it's really goofy. Okay, so our problem probably lies in the fact that the board is 400 pixels and these are all 50. You would think that 50 would go into 400 evenly, but we have these um, we have these um, borders that are one pixel. So let's change our CSS a little bit. I don't really want to make this all about CSS, but but let's do that anyway. So if we if we say here that if we move the right margin in one and the top in one, we should be better off. Um, so we'll do the minus one pixel in margin top minus one pixel. I'm hoping this makes them squeeze in a little bit. Oh, did you see that little move there? It, that was kind of cool. I ha did it so quick. Um, let's let me uh, undo what I did here. I'm going to save it. Watch the board here. Boom, gets a little fatter. <laughs> uh, I'm going to save it again and watch the board. It'll shrink up a little bit. Okay, so that's cleaner, but it's still still not right. Um, so because I don't really want to spend all day doing CSS, I'm going to just make the board bigger. We got eight squares. There must be, it must be one pixel per square too big, I'm guessing. So... Let's just make a 408. Ah, and it fits better. And now we see something I didn't expect. I thought chessboards alternated colors, but they clearly don't. Um, on the next row, I need to start with an orange. So, how do we do that? I think there's going to be math involved. I know this is about React and not math, but um, okay. So if if we say let's use this modulus thing. So if we say that every sixteenth square is yellow, in other words, if we divide by sixteen and get zero, then that would. So let's just save that and see what happens. Okay, so every 16th square is 0. And then if we say, so we want these to be orange, else, so I'm going to say, else if, well, first of all, let me copy this. So I'll say, else if, I mod 8 
equals 0. So anything that's divisible by 8, which isn't also divisible by 16, because we've already done that up there, uh, we'll make that orange. Otherwise, we'll make it orange. OK, so nothing should change, actually. Right. Now, we should say if the previous one was yellow, make it orange, or vice versa. Because we have this first column all set up using these mods. So to do that, I'm going to need another variable. I'm going to, let's see, let's just say var color equals, not equals, but assign the value 0 to it. Okay, so if, let's say 0 is yellow. Um, color equals 0. If it orange, then we know that the color equals 1. I'm going to save it just to make sure nothing weird happened. OK. Else, so else, if the color is currently 1, if it's 1, that means it was orange. So now we want to make it yellow. And then we want to change. And then we want to acknowledge that we made it yellow by saying color is assign the value 0 to color. OK, so what we've done here is, so what should happen is we're, if the color is 1, what's going to happen? It should change. We should have some alternating colors. Let's find out. Oh, that's interesting. So not everything got pushed onto the onto the array, did it? Let's finish off the logic. Else It worked. That's pretty amazing. OK, so that wasn't really React stuff, but that was just uh, an example of how I try to figure stuff out. That might not be the best practice way of making a chessboard, but it's the one I came up with. So um, enjoy. You know, I think this is enough of colorful squares. It's, the next video will do something completely different.